Hi my loves, this tutorial is on this look right here. This can be worn on every eye colour because I think copper suits everyone. It really makes eyes pop and stand out. Keep on watching if you want to know how I achieve this look. I got this miracle skin sample in my Bella box I think. Watching the clips back I really feel like it did even out my skin tone and make my skin look tighter. Next, I'm priming my skin with NYX Angel Veil. This has got to be one of my favourite inexpensive primers. I'm giving this Makeup Forever Concealer a try. I have to say it's actually amazing. It did not crease on me whatsoever. It really covered my dark circles and blended out beautifully. I could have went with one shade darker, but let's go for that really highlighted look today. Now I'm contouring with my favourite, the Becca Foundation Stick. I'm not doing anything different than my previous videos, just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. I've had this foundation for a while and decided to whip it out today. I have to agree with all the hype, the finish is gorgeous and the coverage is just enough so it still looks like skin. I am in love. To set everything in place, I'm using a translucent powder and just beating it on my face with a large powder brush. Isn't it nice when your luggage arrives from overseas? Anyways, I'm using my favourite pressed powder at the moment and just creating light in those highlighted areas. As I got quite a lot of sun on my trip and Sydney is midsummer time, I am quite tan at the moment. I could have gone with mixing this colour and the slightly darker colour, but that's cool. All you do is just dust it off with the same big powder brush to tone it down. I'm taking a lighter tan colour to contour first. This will make the darker colour easier to blend out. Then taking the darker shade, concentrating that in the hollows of my cheeks and blending it upwards. This will create shadow and depth. Priming my lids with MAC Soft Ochre, I first apply it with a synthetic brush, then use my finger to melt it into the skin. Brow time is the best time, just doing it how I usually do it, creating those lines, then filling them in and feathering out the front. I've also got my favourite brush back and I seriously love it. Something a little different, but the other day I only had my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shades on me and I needed to do eye makeup because I was going out. I actually loved how it turned out, so I'm going to use that as a basis for today's look. The three shades I use are Camel, Clay and Carob. And I just built those up in the crease, inner and outer corners, liners to darkest. I've been dying to use this in a tutorial because this colour is just gorgeous. I just use my finger to apply it to the lid, then just take a fluffy brush and make sure there are no harsh lines. To make the eyes pop even more, I added a little of this champagne colour right to the centre of the lid. I love the effect this gives. To finish off the lower lash line, I take that clay shade and smoke it out. Then take that carob shade and just place it right on the lash line. I'm adding a bit of highlight to the tops of my cheeks and the center of my nose, just for a healthy glow. Coat the top lashes with any mascara of your choice as we are adding false lashes. 
line the waterline with a black liner and finish off the bottom lashes with a coat of mascara as well. I'm using the lower lashes in Wing Woman. I just can't put these lashes down. For my lips, as you know, I've been loving the ColourPop lippy sticks and liners. They are so amazing and for $5 each, how can you not? This shade is called Brink and it's sort of a browny red brick colour. It's also a matte finish. I hope you enjoyed this look. Please like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit me up on Insta if you recreate this look.